always having a character that's very capable, having having a personality or or have resources at my disposal, and just go explore. That's really I don't I don't want to. Are you talking first, second, third, fourth, fifth edition Ranger? Doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> yes, it does. Doesn't matter. Never the fourth. Never fourth. Never, Never fourth. fourth. Never okay. fourth. I Those I would settle between. Even be opened. I'd settle between <laughs> Pathfinder or fifth edition. Okay. You know. Pathfinder's broken. I don't care because when you're living it, you don't have to worry about the paperwork. <laughs> it's you know? broken. You, you know, you're not in the middle of the forest, and, you know, swinging your swords and going, "Excuse me, hang on a second, I have to check to see what's in." The blah blah blah. No, you're just doing oh, it. That's that's like uh, Rune Quest. Yeah. Or all those other ones where it's like, "Wait, the critical hit table, I killed myself." But just the, the overall <laughs> idea his of he might do that. Yeah. The overall idea of just you know packing up and going out and explore. Go, go, you know, take your ship and go flying out and go look at the stars and go look at the nebula and go look at, expl- you know, things and find ancient civilizations and do a little archaeology on the side. You would be a ship designer. Oh, yeah, I would. You know that because I did that in a Star Wars game. Um, you know, and then just the overall feeling of being able to just go and explore and see and see what p- people have created. And I've, I've done world building of my own. Uh, for D and D over the years, I had this one world that I've been working on for about twenty five years at this point. Yeah, that's and the way it winds up being. Yeah, you spend all your time making the world. Yeah, and I would love to play in it, but then I eventually I have to DM. Is. So everybody, yeah, I know where everything <laughs> is. It would be great, but you know, and I'm like, oh wow, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. I want to play in this world, but I can't because I'm the DM. You know, yes, you are. So, yeah, but uh, it's all right. That's all good. So those are my two. That would be Star Wars or D and D. That would be fun just to be able to go and explore and see and things. So those those are my ideas. Hmm. What? Shh. Nothing. The dead silence as Tanya looks at me with that damn smirk. No, I'm just <laughs> thinking about that. It's like one uh-huh. thing that I just like didn't even think of. Yeah, I mean, because you could be the hero. You can go off and save the princess, and you can go off and you know uh, yeah. save the world and I, whatnot. I, I like and, modern amenities. Uh, yeah, me like too. Like a toilet. Yeah. I like that, that, that never the that never comes up in D and D. Just like in Star Trek, there are no bathrooms in Star Trek. Yeah, but the Turbo Flush. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're living it, there better be a bathroom. Somewhere. Well, it's funny because when one of the campaigns, um, our friend Mark was DMing it, and when we were mapping everything, can I tell you how many latrines we found when we were going oh, through yeah. that? Yeah, we found yeah. the bathroom. We found it again. Gnomes yeah. are great tankers. No, gnomish plumbing is awesome. Yeah. And, you know? and Flushing sure privies. Enough, what the, the heck? Fir- and the first thing you say is, who designed this? <laughs> and, and remember, in one of the um, things that I think Elric was running, uh-huh. Hunter had, or Randy was running, Hunter had to go down the, yeah. the yeah. crap hole to yep. get whatever treasure was at the bottom of it. Because you were all fighting a mimic. <clears throat> yes. That was before I joined that group. So, yeah. I mean, so, there we have it. So, you know, now we've, we've done a little little just dream building for the fun of it, and just to see where we're going with it. Any any closing thoughts, Bill? No, although my second choice, I think, would be Star Trek, the original yeah. series. I want yeah. to live on the Enterprise. That would be fun. But not the action-packed Enterprise of the movie world. I want to live in the, <laughs> the quiet, you know, beam down a couple people. You want to be with Leonard Nimoy. You, you don't want to be wearing a red shirt. Yeah, you don't oh, want to be a red shirt. Scotty. No. Uh, unless you're Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nope. I just want to be one of the random people you see wandering through the hallways. Or you could have a red dress. Uhura never got killed yes. either. I don't know if Billy would look good in a red dress, though. No. I, I've yeah, tried. I don't think you have the legs for it, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've tried in it. I've work. seen you in shorts. It's yeah. not. It's, uh, I think it's not going to work. <laughs> It's not going to work. Although the shoes can be nice. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if we ever got John Barrowman, he'll probably bring heels. He'd bring high heels for everybody. everybody. I want to see him bring out size 13 high heels. He probably would have some. If he'd pull that off, I would wear them. That would be funny. Oh, man. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. This was fun. That was fun. And Mm -hmm. so think about it yourselves, listeners. What would be the fandom you would want to comment on the podcast and let us know where you would want to spend your days hanging out. So for that one, we'll go ahead and wrap this puppy up for now. And this has is this been the fandom you want to live in? Monkey business. No. No, you can no. get naked women anywhere. You don't need Benny Hill for that. So <laughs> this has been a, a Mighty Monkey production, although I'm not sure if we want to admit to it today. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash FC3ROC. And we will see you all May 20th and 21st at the Rochester Riverside Convention Center.